Still out. Coming. The bad hips. And I have asthma, but I'll hustle in an emergency. It's not an emergency. <clears throat> it's over. The baby's gone. And the mom, too. Just the dad is left. Dear, I'm so, so sorry. Will you please make sure he doesn't hurt himself? In a minute. I want to know what you did wrong. They got nervous about the details, and, and the, she stopped eating. But the baby, they kept growing, and we started the rope ritual, and there was, there was so much blood. Was... Oh, there's always blood. Not this much. Don't be angry with her. We all make mistakes. The baby is gone. Oh, and if you think I'm angry, Wait till the Foundation finds out. They think it's my fault. They're gonna take me and they'll... Don't worry, sweetie. Remember the Foundation as a family. Let me handle this. You put in the call and go sit with Dad. There. Thank you. This is Lilith. I'm at Marsha's. Yes, we need a complete cleanup crew. Oh, it's a total cut up. She's just upset. Let's get you a nice cup of tea, and you can tell me exactly what happened. Infertility is a big, traumatic, multifaceted loss. Today, the part we're talking about is the image you had of the parent you thought you would be. Today's assignment was to bring an object that represents that image. Something you can let go of symbolically that might help you let go emotionally. Just a little bit. Okay. Didn't have a lot of friends in middle school. Um, I was the weird kid who would knit all the time. I know you can't choose what your kids are into. For our sixth anniversary, my husband got me divorce papers. I a letter from a surrogate we couldn't afford. I would wrap my stuffed animals in it and pretend they were my kids, which was insane because I was 16 at the time. It's $186,000. $254.98. We went bankrupt years ago. Four miscarriages. Four. The bastard has the nerve to say it's because I'm working too hard. Like that would somehow fix my uterus if I just prayed a little harder. And every time, Eric, you're so great. I see these women who are so oblivious to what they have. I see my nephew, my sister's son, and I get so jealous. I feel like... I feel broken. Like she let me down. Like a failure. I don't want to be this angry person anymore. I know I'm supposed to move on. I have to move on. I know, we have to move on. At some point, you have to accept that the wall that you keep banging your head against over and over and over again isn't going to break. But I can't do it if he's not you. If you're not ready to move on to, I can't. You know, it just, it won't work. So, so you go and then we can do this together. And I said eight months in a submarine or not, you still have to wear a condom. <laughs> <laughs> God, I miss when sex was fun. Not just apps and charts and tracking and, yeah. Does he still go down on you? Yeah, but... You know, Eric's still pushing for another round of IVF. I'm working double shifts twice a week to pay off the last round. And the marks on my stomach, they still haven't faded. Ugh. 
My cousin just had a baby. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but it's a miracle. Jesus, Charisse, I don't, when she was 21, she had cancer and a hysterectomy, and now she's got a new baby. She said some organization helped her, and maybe if you wanted to, you can talk to her. That's all. Hello. Hey, Susan. This is Michaela Galston. Oh, hey. Sharice told me you'd be calling. You guys go way back, right? Yeah, she was the cool RA in my freshman dorm. I bet. She used to bring me pop when I was going through chemo. Which was for? Uterine cancer. Sucked. Had the whole thing removed. Been in full remission a couple of years. And now you have a baby? Can't be right. I swear to God, the stuff the foundation can do is. <laughs> I gotta go check on Francis. Let me get you in touch with the woman who worked with me. She's awesome. She'll explain everything. A miracle worker, really. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Of course. Good luck. I think that's all there is. Do you think it's something? I don't know. Trace wouldn't have mentioned it if she didn't think it was something. And, and her cousin had a, a hysterectomy, then a baby. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> I know. That's what I said. Michaela, I, um, I thought you wanted to move on. And I thought this is what you wanted. Thank you. Hi. Hey, hey, welcome, 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 Michaela. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> and you must be Eric. Yes, hi. Oh. Hi, Ola, right? Uh, uh, that's a unique name. Oh, my parents were beatniks. <laughs> Would you like something to drink? Some water, coffee? Um, water. Lukewarm, please. <laughs> oh, and an egg, of course. Oh, this is a lovely home. And absolutely deserving of a child. The Gravita Foundation is honored that you are considering allowing us to help you achieve your miracle. Please, sit. please. I'm sure you've been promised miracles before, and you don't believe that this is real, but I wouldn't lie to someone who's been through what you've been through. The Gravita Foundation helped me when I couldn't conceive. He's a geneticist now, and I'm so grateful that they taught me how to share their gift. It's your egg, so it's your chick, if you wish. If not, I'll take it for you. Uh, you go, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> the 
that's a little demonstration the foundation created to show off what we can do. <laughs> it's not deception or sleight of hand. It's magic. Powerful, old magic. So you're a witch? <laughs> no. I just volunteered to help after they helped me. Yeah, yes. of course. So, uh, how does it work? Well, there's a three-week cleansing period with the special diet and uh, some things you can't do. And then I will stay with you for a week of rituals to make sure that the baby is stable so that you get the child that you want. You absolutely deserve the chance to be parents. Let me give it to you. That is quite an offer. Yes. Thank you. Well, we'll talk about it and um, we'll get back to you. Of course. Take your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, oh, <laughs> and here, some homemade tea. Steep it for two minutes and then add a little whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a party. <laughs> Take care now. Have a good one. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Oh my God. No. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, really? Some? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I like it. It's okay. All right, fine. It's more for me then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. That thing with the egg? That was nuts. Yeah, it's a good trick. Was it a trick, though? Yeah, it was a good trick. But was it really a trick? Are you actually considering she isn't full of shit? I don't know, maybe? I, look, look. My grandma tried for 20 years to have kids. 20 years. And then someone gave her a carved stone dick and bam! My dad. Maybe... Maybe this is our carved stone dick. You're drunk. Compared to another round of IVF, what's the risk? Energy, hope, the ability to look at myself in the mirror after agreeing to work with a shaman who looks like Charisse's crazy aunt. Plus, we can't afford the days off. If you were pregnant, we would figure it out. But this isn't real. Do you really think this hippie lady is a wizard? Excuse me, I thought you didn't like it. It's totally ridiculous. I am so sorry. I had no idea Susan was so far down the rabbit hole. It's okay. It's not as bad as that pyramid scheme lunch thing. Um, I made $600 on that, thank you very much. Oh, see, sometimes the scam is legit. Well, well it's a pretty elaborate scam for, what'd you say, free? I know, right? It's obviously too good to be true. I mean, I don't get why Eric's obsessing about it. But what if this one time magic is real? Do you want my actual opinion? <sighs> no, no, no. Not soft enough. Uh, get a fluffy one, not wool. Maybe cotton. Fleece is nice. Too much life. These stay closed. Fertility idols. Uh, the red one was my grandma's. She said it helped her, so I got a few more. Yeah, just in case. Well, it didn't help you. I can't have their magic interfering with mine. Uh, they need to be out of the house completely. 
Sounds good. No cucumber, no shellfish, no bowling, no smoking, cigarettes or weed. Not too much sun, no liquor, red wine is okay, but just don't go overboard. And no sex. But you can masturbate if you need to twice a week. Michaela, I'll need for you to text me updates on your cycle. Now, you'll have to follow all of these restrictions perfectly for three weeks before the week of the rituals. If you don't, the magic won't work. Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> it's an old recipe with some herbs to open up your chakras. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here's our contract. It spells out everything you need to know. Awesome. Uh, each clause needs to be initialed by both of you. No problem. Okay. Yeah. What's this required monitoring? Thing, um, Section 8B? Oh, just a little visit from the Foundation. We'll stop by and bring you diapers, clothes, whatever you need. See? Yeah, that's nice. If you want to do this, I'm in. But if this doesn't work, I'm done. No IVF, no research studies, or idols, or crystals, or crazy witch ladies. No offense. But what if there's no. some... This is it. One last try. Oh. Oh. Well, after this... There will be nothing left to try. We'll get dogs. I want schnauzers. Okay. Here. It's lace. Put it in your windows. It will help fortify the light in your home. Okay. For your red wine. Technically kosher is best, but it's awful. So it really doesn't matter. What about sangria? Honey, she just said red what? wine. It's wine and fruit. I can have fruit, right? It's a good question. You can ask one of the representatives through our app. Here's the login information. You guys have an app? <laughs> of course. Magic isn't stuck in the dark ages. <laughs> the app's got all the rules and uh, a section for your prayers and pronunciations, my contact info, but uh, just use the chat function. They can help. And frankly, they know the little things better than I do. If you need to delay for any reason, that's fine. But if you cheat and don't tell me, Anything unexpected can be a disaster. <laughs> okay, well, we'll behave. You'd better. Now, uh, before you begin this journey, take a night, get drunk, eat junk food, get high, enjoy what you're sacrificing, understand it. I'm so happy for you both. <laughs> Come on, open up, open up. Mm -mm. It's just practice, rehearsal. We have a baby. Open up. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. I don't want to go a month without processed carbs. So you're in? A hundred percent. You're not gonna accidentally eat a cookie every two and a half weeks? <laughs> no. Hmm. 
Plus, it's easier than IVF mm. and cheaper. Mm. We could dye it a little and put lace on our windows. No shots. I think this would be good for us. Maybe she can do magic. She could be like Madame Pomfrey, who went rogue to help muggles. The next time she's here, mm -hmm. let's say Voldemort. <laughs> See if she flinches. Yeah, that's good, yeah? It's good. Oh, Fucking good. brilliant. Dude, I think we make some smarter. Right. <laughs> New. <laughs> Come on. New. 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 Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be home late tonight, and she said you could jerk off if you wanted to. We dar a new gunka poor e son. 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 You ready for tomorrow? I'm ready for this to be done. I'm sick of eating rabbit food. And I miss, you know, sex. Same. <laughs> Same. Um, if this um, doesn't work, are you going to be OK? I think so. I can't get any crazier than this, right? <laughs> Promise. Promise. Mm. Wonderful. Now we can begin. I just want to say we're so. I'll be right back. Well, whatever happens, it will be a hell of a story. Seriously. Do you, uh, do you want some help? Oh, no, no, no. I've got it, sweetie. <laughs> Is this baby bondage gear? <laughs> what do you think these light bulbs are for? The baby will have sensitive eyes from the magic. Six months, you won't even be able to tell at all. Okay. Let's get to it. Where will the baby be sleeping? Oh, uh, well, we thought maybe with us for a bit. Yeah, make nighttime feedings easier and... And then you have a bedroom for your baby, right? Yeah, the guest room, uh, Eric's old office. Yep. We were going to mm -hmm. convert it after the baby was Oh, cool. no, no, it needs to be done now. Preparing the space is part of the process. Oh, okay. It's all got to go. Can we move everything to the garage? Not really. The baby's spirit needs to know it will have a dedicated space of its own. I'm sure you can get it emptied by sunset. Sunset t today? I don't want to delay. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. three. There we go. Ta-da. Oh, can't believe you guys are really doing this. It's your fault. Uh, thanks for the tip. You're welcome, I guess. But I am pulling for you guys. 
despite everything I know about biology, physics, science in general. Oh my god, is that her? She looks like my Aunt Marge who sold us that acid. Maybe we can get some good drugs off of her. Or, uh, you know, a baby. Either way, it'll be a trip. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, come on. All right, let's get going. Neil. I don't know why you think I'm joking. Neil. We hide the light of the world away and invite the light between the stars into our homes and our hearts. Stay. <laughs> you think we get a treat if we're good? <laughs> Done. <laughs> Take the chicken. <laughs> Eric, you too. <sighs> this bird, the one hatched at your table, represents the child you did not have. The one you expected. The one you will not have. I'm not hungry. And what are you worried about? You don't believe in any of this, remember? Yeah, because it's weird and it's creepy. You've bought into it, so now I need to eat a bird that died in my hands in our living room. Ugh. I love you. You're welcome. Knock, knock, I'm coming in. Hey, Mama and Papa, great to be here. Who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Zakeni, OBGYN. Yale undergrad, Harvard med, Duke residency. You can call me Dr. Zakeni. Dr. Z, Doc. See, it's all good. I work at Mercy General downtown. And I volunteer with the Gravito Foundation whenever I can. My bio's in the app. It's, uh, it's nice to meet you. Likewise. Likewise. And you. What are you doing here? He's helping? Well, specifically, Ola makes the magic happen, and I keep you safe with modern medicine. Pregnancy's tough. Magic or not. Uh, if it's okay, I'd like to get a quick look-see. Just make sure everything's ship-shape. Shouldn't you have done that three weeks ago before we started dieting? Honey, Ola would have caught anything that would have been incompatible with our process. This is just for a baseline. I'll give you a moment to get change and uh, get on the table. Are you okay? Can you get me a water? <clears throat> hey. Eric, how you feeling? Yeah, I'm just having some trouble. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this this is magic, and and you're a doctor. How does that work? Well, we don't know exactly how Tylenol works or penicillin, but they do, and so does magic. You know, I'm a big believer in results, and the Gravita Foundation made me. And. Turned out okay. 
So you're a... Foundation baby. Through and through. And I'm pretty awesome. Listen, I know this is scary, but... Uh, this is gonna be the best decision you ever made. You ready? Yeah, uh, I'll be right there. What's going on? Oh, cold hands. You okay? Yeah. Before we do the draw, any uh, family or personal history of anemia, sickle cell, cancer, uh, hemophilia, any blood disorders? Uh, nothing on my side. My grandmother had breast cancer. But no history of leukemia or myeloma, nothing like that? No. Great. The foundation will be very happy to hear that. Why would they care? Well, I send them a full report. It's their process, and they just make sure I'm not missing anything. But Michaela, look at him. His parents, uh, well, they use a the foundation too. The Gravita Foundation is a family. Welcome. Your veins are lovely. Quick bench. back to check on you every night. If you need anything before then, feel free to call me on the app. Oh, and uh, you're gonna feel pretty terrible most of the time, but uh, it's gonna be worth it. A blink of an eye. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I'll let you get changed. Thank you, doctor. Let's begin. This first ritual is the true beginning of your journey into parenthood. Take your place in front of me, facing each other. Huh, that's modern. Better for my asthma. It's the ambiance that matters. Speeds things up anyway, the mats too. Blessed be the mother who gives herself for her child. Half. Blessed be the father who gives himself for his child. Strip nude. How did you think it worked? <laughs> I guess uh, just pretend like we're on that beach from our honeymoon. Are you gonna get sunburn on your junk again? Nice. Man and woman is all there is. I am outside your world. Your world is a void. All you see is each other, bathing in the light of your love, the light between the stars. Don't think about me. Don't think about making a child. 
this doesn't work in our world. It only works in the world you create together. The symbols I'm drawing will bind you in that world. So let your eyes be honest. Look at each other. Take it in. Think about everything your partner has given you. Every smile, every laugh, every flutter of your heart. Place your palms together and through your touch, show your partner the person they are to you. Interlock your fingers and become the person you are to them. You are connected. You are alone in your world. Hold fast. Stay together. Don't let go. You did well. I hope it worked. But we'll know for sure in the morning. Get some rest. I'll clean up. Well, Ugh. well, some breakfast should perk you up. Thanks. a good sign. Come with me. Eat it all, okay? Okay. This will be uncomfortable, but you'll feel better. It won't last too long, I promise. I think it worked. The toilet. I'm pregnant. How could you possibly know that? Well, Ola An said that- An can implant that quickly. Well, of but... course it can. I'm only here for a week, not nine months. Wait, wait, so you're in a week? She'll have a baby and I'll be out of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, that's- it's magic. I've been telling you. Why do you think she's nauseous? Food poisoning. Eric, what? I can feel it. A week. How is that a bad thing? Honey. Oh, no, no. no. Let's get you to bed. She's doing great. 
This is perfectly normal. There's a lot going on inside of her. I don't know if I get paternity leave at work with no notice. Oh, don't worry about all that. The Foundation can help. Let's keep you busy. <laughs> well, Nicola, it has been a while. It's easy. You'll remember fast. Me again. I just keep waiting for you to pull out a vacuum to sell me. <laughs> I promise you, that's not what the Gravita Foundation is about. But obviously, you know, they want something. <laughs> to bring life into the world, that's all. When you went from Baron to a mother in a week, which is insane, <laughs> what did you tell people? They'll just be happy for you. And after you had your son, well, I mean, do a lot of the kids that they make, because they do make them, <laughs> um, do they all become doctors? I mean, your son is one and Dr. Z. Some. The Foundation wants their children to reach their full potential, whatever they want to be. We're a family, and you'll be a part of it. The doctor said that, too. He would know. Oh, I'm so hungry. Nagora no more than No maduro como amor. Gasoro, gasoro, down. Just ignore me. Like I said, you guys are doing great. This week's gonna be tough, but just keep eating what all feeds you. Sure thing. How long have you known Ola? Oh, we go way back, since she started at the foundation. Really? Because she said she started with them when she had her son. Yeah, that's true. She said her son just turned 40. Did she? She did. Do you know what she could Eric, have been taught? please. See you guys tomorrow. There's always blood. Did you oil like you were supposed to? Uh-huh. The baby's doing nine months of growing in one week. The skin can split a little bit. Uh. Holy shit. Come on. Let's clean you up. Are you sure we should move her? Yes. Give her a hand. Honey. Dr. Zakenny. Hey, Dr. Z. Uh, it's Eric Gallison. Hey, Eric, how are you? Not very good, good, actually. Michaela just woke up with her stomach split open and and then she started licking her own blood. It's nothing to worry about. I know it's super scary, but this is all part of the process. I promise. These are, these are all good signs. What about the licking? Weird cravings. You know, I had a patient once who kept wanting to drink window cleaner. I'll see you tomorrow night. The process is working. <sighs> hey, are you okay? We got her all wrapped up with some special bandages. Wonderful. You're gonna be a dad. Do lovebirds sleep tight?
Thanks, Ola. Yours. I'm not gonna over. Too bad. Come on, eat, eat, eat. Oh. Ola, the doctor said he's been working with you since you started with the foundation. That's right. Which is when your son was born, about 40 years ago? 37. But Zucchini's bio online said he graduated from med school in 2002. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it was his father who helped me. Yeah. I sometimes get them a bit confused. Such a family resemblance. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be cool if your baby looked just like you? <laughs> I'm not naming him Eric Jr., though. <laughs> what was his name? Zakini's father. Um, Abraham, Aaron, something biblical. I like, like that. Abraham. Zucchini or also Isaac. Said it was him, not his you know, I really like classical names. Or, ooh, how about Edith? Kayla! Hey, hey, hey! Let me talk for one second, okay? Right, She's upset. Just excited. Seriously? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> oh no, I guess I'm in trouble. It's scary. It's stressful and lots you of You guys things. are hiding something. He's supposed to be 44 years old. That's Good it. Lord! It's clearly some sort of miscommunication. She's pregnant. You can see that. Breathe. Eat. Be happy. Hey, Magic Mama, what's up? It worked. I'm pregnant. What? How? Magic? Uh, well, that's wonderful. Crazy, too, <laughs> but I, I'm so happy for you. Thanks. I wish Eric was as happy. Well, if he screws this up, I will kill him. Please don't. You know, I was licking blood off my hand last night. Yeah, I think that really freaked Eric out. But the doctor said it's just craving, so... Wait, wait, wait. Why were you bleeding? Uh, the skin on my stomach, it, it ripped when it grew so fast. Jesus. Well, no wonder Eric's freaked. Yeah, but... I know it's weird, but I'm pregnant. You should be happy. Yeah, still... <sighs> okay, um... If it's real, I'm, I'm sure he'll get there. I just know it. Thanks. Really. For everything. For, for being a good friend and for telling us about Susan. Well, I am a good friend, but I will not babysit. But I will hold your beer for you while you change a diaper. <laughs> wow. You're so generous. Love you. Later. Love you. Cuz, can I talk to you about- Did she do it? She did, didn't she? Yeah, Michaela, she's pregnant. Can you come over in person just in case? Never mind. Can you just come over, please?
Ben's at the door. Get rid of him. Hi! Sorry to bug you. I'm Rufus with Rufus Extermination, and I'm here to protect We're your fine, thanks. Uh, you might be fine, but do you have any kids? Not yet. My wife is... Almost due. Congratulations! <laughs> thanks. Uh, my stuff's not so great for newborns, so... Awesome, thanks. This will be your child's safe place in the world, like a womb where the mother surrounds the child. Dad, too. Hold this. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll take a bit of your blood and mix it with the paint. You will be all around, watching, protecting, part of the light. Um. What the hell are you doing? We only need two drops. I have a finger stick. That's way too much. Why would you cut your palm anyway? There are far better places. Okay, if I don't gonna... know. Okay, I don't know. I just... You said blood and I thought... I'll tell you what to do. Then you do it. Right now, do nothing. I'm sorry, I was trying to be supportive. It was very sweet. You doing okay? Yeah, it stings a little. That's not what I meant. Yeah, I know. It just... And this is all crazy, you know? Yeah, I know. This wrap will heal you relatively quickly. It's the same as her belly, actually. We match. Don't do that again. Next time, wait for specific instructions. Now, Michaela, we'll add your blood to Eric's. Get the paint can. I got it, I got it. Here. Down. For mixing. Fale, Gatau, Kupur, Nadala, Verdense, Manto. Eric, it'll be your job to paint. Be thorough. Every spot. You with me. Come in. Hey, I wanted to see if you were okay. Are you followed? What's wrong? What's going on? He's hungry. I can't feed him anymore. He's he's always eating. You talked to the doctor? The doctors, they don't... They're, they're all part of it. The foundation is everywhere. You have to tell them not to trust them. It's not what they say. What is it? M Michaela said her pregnancy was only one week. Is that true? You have to get your friend out of there. Out of the house. Just get her away. Why? What did they do? They gave me a monster. Okay. Where's Mark? Mark? He's got a really good job now. He works for the foundation now, but the baby. You see, I feed the baby. 
Could I maybe help you? He's just hungry. He's so hungry, and I, I haven't fed him, but... But I think... I think... I think I'm getting sick again. He won't drink for me. You could help. Can I have some of your blood? He's... I just need a little bit. Just one bottle. Please! He'll take him from me if I can't! Put it down. It's okay. Put it down. You have to get her out of there and get her away. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her I'm so sorry. Hey, what's going on? Hey, is Michaela okay? She didn't pick up. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's fine. Uh, what's wrong? I met Susan's and she had an, uh, I don't know, an episode? The place is a mess and she kept going on and on about the, the what's it, the, the Godiva Foundation? Krahavada Foundation. Yeah, well, she said she needed blood for the baby. She, she asked me to fill a bottle while holding a knife. Holy sh Eric? Uh, uh, one second, one second. Uh, go on. Look, I called 911, and some people showed up. They're in the back talking to her, but I don't know who they are. They're not cops or EMTs. They're just weird. Cold hands, black suits. Huh. Well, I haven't seen anyone here like that, so... I'm just really worried about Michaela. I mean, she's okay. I heard her stomach ripped, and she licked blood. Eric, that is not normal. No, but, uh, she's pregnant. Cherise, it's, um... It's real. What is real? Exactly what kind of baby are you getting? Look, I hope I'm wrong. Just keep an eye out, okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, thanks. Hey, Susan. I'm so sorry. My mom called. I didn't have your dad's number. It's fine. You were right to worry. The Foundation sent out some help. Why don't I stay too? What's going on? Nothing. Why did you say holy shit? It was Charisse. Her cousin Susan had an episode and um, kind of she episode? went to warn you. Warn me about what? She said not to trust the foundation. Okay. That Susan has been feeding her her baby blood and she pulled a knife on Charisse. Oh my God. She's okay, but. Postpartum depression can happen in magical pregnancies too. It, it can make things seem insurmountable, unreal. I'll have a pamphlet for you. <laughs> okay. But that doesn't explain why she's baby- I'm sure someone from the Foundation is on their way to help her out. They're the ones behind all of this. What are they behind? Eric, what are you saying? Whatever you and Zucchini are lying about, huh? Yeah, I found out what? something about the doctor. He's Eric, lying come on. about his age. No, 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 no. I want to know. I want to know the truth about Zucchini, about our baby, and about Susan. 
Is she crazy or is she telling the truth about feeding her baby blood? Maybe sometimes a little, but if you Are you kidding me? Are we having a vampire baby? Uh, that term has a lot of implications. <laughs> implications? What? This is a person just like you with slightly unique needs. People eat placenta, a bone, brain. It's a monster. All babies are monsters. They they scream and they cry and they and they puke, but this one's ours, so so what should it matter? Susan tried to stab Sharice. Sharice, your best friend. That has nothing to do with our baby. Yes, it does, obviously. Michaela! Back off. What are you hiding? What else could there possibly be? Give me your phone. Give me the phone! Give her the damn phone! Finish painting. Think about what you're risking if you screw this up. Not your fault. I was distracted. Eric is all over the place. Exactly. Don't take it personally. Once he holds the baby, he'll forget all about it. I guess. I promise. Now, stay away from the wet paint. Just one more ritual left. We don't want to mess it up. Thanks for hanging out. Of course. Anytime. He'll have to climb this tree on his own. If my mom calls you, tell her I'm sleeping. Okay? Yeah, sure. Oops. Good thing it wasn't too high up. You'll have to try again. This last ritual will ensure the vitality of your child-to-be. Eric, you'll be chanting this. What does it mean? I can't tell you exactly. Just focus on how it makes you feel. And at some point during the ritual, it'll turn into English. If you stop, it would be very, very dangerous. Ra o fa ko ra da a ra zen a kalu we ra o fa ko ra da a ko ra da a ra zen a kalu we ra o fa ko so ra da a ra da a ra zen a kalu we Eric, Eric, focus, Eric, focus. I forfeit my energy. It hurts! For my person, myself. Let me go! I give it all away to this, to you. I forfeit my energy. It's growing! For my person, myself. I give it all away to this, to you. Make it stop! I forfeit my energy. For my person, myself. I give it all away to this, to you! Wonderful, Eric. Honey. We'll clean this up tomorrow. Turn out the candles before you tuck in. The doctor will be here sometime overnight. Sleep well. Um, I'm so sorry. Oh. 
Why are you sorry? You were begging and screaming, and I said, um, and those words. Oh, they're just words. Just a way to access the magic. But they felt true. Oh, they're supposed to be. Oh. And there was this thing, and, and it was in my chest, <laughs> and I, I couldn't keep it in. That's love. That's how I feel about the person that's growing inside of me. But it, w it was, it didn't feel like love. It was, um, it was terrifying. It's supposed to be. Here. Just wait. It'll come. Lots of kicking. Just trying to find the heartbeat. I saw a picture of your father. A handsome fellow. <laughs> Is it right that our baby will drink blood? Eric, what are you it doing? Just You're just asking. trying to find a problem. No, I'm not. Just, to... just anxious. All guys go through it as it gets closer. He's going through a lot too. Yeah, but... I know. But still, it's a process. My dad, on the day I was born, drank a bottle of whiskey and threw up on the accouché. Right. The, uh, midwife. Anyway... The... heartbeat. Nice and healthy. Whoa. Uh, a little too loud. Morning.
Jesus. Come now. What? What's wrong? Susan? Susan? Susan. Your blood seeped into her skin, and now that. What the f is that? I don't know what it is. I'll make a poultice and call the doctor. Help her to the bedroom. I'm calling the doctor again. They said he was sleeping, but he has to get up for this. My client has an infection or something. I don't know what it is. Yes, that's why I called. Just wake him up. Michaela, Eric, let me in! Why are you stopping? She sounds scared. What about the baby? I'll be right back. Stop, Eric! Stop bedroom. her! Stop her! Oh, Joyce, why don't you come with me? No, no, Look at what's happening! Uh, she is dangerous. They are dangerous. Michaela, you don't know what's growing inside of you. A baby, a beautiful baby. Susan is dead. She killed herself and her baby. I saw. I saw them in the bathroom. She took pills, and, and the baby was in the tub. <gasps> the baby... <gasps> it wasn't a baby. What... what was it? What does that mean? It had claws. She fed it blood. We know. Claws. Michaela, let's go. Ow. You gotta get me out of here. Stop her. Ow. How do you think this happens? This is not natural. Sharice, no, it's not natural. That. But... They were controlling Susan, threatening her. Helping her. This is different. She couldn't handle being a mother. I meant for this. Michaela, your baby is an abomination. Therese, how can... How could you say that? Please, you have to believe me. I'm trying to save her. Therese, I, I, I think I think you should go. I'm sorry. I can't. No. No. Ah! 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 Ah!
Sensitive to blood. You said the licking was fine. That was her blood. But yours, when it got on the skin and it stayed there, it caused the magic, the energy that needs to be contained in the baby to leak. Your body is not meant for magic. I can heal you, but the medicine is bad for the baby. Cherise! Pay attention. You need to induce labor now, or you could lose your wife and your baby. Gonna let me. Yeah. yeah. Save them. No mura taro shawe rosa ale cura lianse boca. Get ready for the big ones, but don't push yet. <laughs> You got this, honey. You can do it. Hang in there, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, next time you feel a contraction coming, breathe, sweetie. Push breathe. as hard as you can. Here she is. I got her. It's a girl. Hola. We have a problem. We need you to drink this before anything else. It's medicine. Let's go drink now. it. Is she okay? We have to be fast. What's going on? She should be crying. Why isn't she crying? What's happening? Why isn't she crying? She's barely hanging on. What? What is happening? An infection from Eric's blood. <laughs> you did this! Oh, it's your fault! It's all your fault! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, I didn't mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. No. There's still a chance we can fix it, but it's big, costly magic. Not the kind of thing the foundation does without total Down. commitment. You have to supply the main component for the spell. Yes, of course. What is it? A fresh human heart. Why are you looking at me? What's she talking about? No, no way. No. I understand. It's your choice. But there are no second chances. Eric. We're listen. not going to murder our friend. Eric. Please. This is our only chance. This is my only chance. I love you, and I want to do this with you. Please, I need this baby. If you're willing to murder your friend for that, maybe you're not fit to be a mother. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, 
heart. Wait for instructions. Let me flip him over. You were worth it. 